It's lithium on Sirius XM. Uh, wow, they, you know, they don't make the feedback anymore, and I miss that. Hello, I'm Kat Corbett on lithium. The phone number is 877-92-LITHIUM. I know it has more digits than you need, but it's fine. You'll be fine. Just call it. I have Louise Post for Veruca Salt on my couch. Oh, hi. Fantastic. I just want to make sure our sound is good before I get carried away. Everybody good? Thank you. Um, Louise, welcome to my house party. Oh, thank you. What a fun party it is. I know. This is so exciting. I get to see you here in real life. I know. And not on stage. I know. It's so good. I'm, I'm like truly, truly excited. Um, again, 877-92 Lithium if you want to talk to Louise Post from Veruca Salt, who is going solo. So we're going to be talking about that as well. Um, I know you've like had a career in music for, I mean, I just want to say thank you for rocking us for so many years. Oh, that's so nice. Right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for saying that. It's Do you look back and go, oh, wow, that was like yesterday or was it 200 years ago? No, it all How does it feel for so you? Recent. It all feels like yesterday for sure. You have a new album coming out and it's on June 2nd, right? Yep. And um, I'm going to turn you up a little bit. And it's called Sleepwalker. Sleepwalker. And I read a little bit that you were a sleepwalker. Yeah, I was. When I was little, I used to sleepwalk um, around the house. I used to sleepwalk down the street. Um, yeah, so I, it was very much, it's a very true story. <laughs> no, I used to sleepwalk. You did? But I didn't leave the house. Uh, so when I read that, I was like, oh, she went the extra mile. I did. I literally went the extra mile. <laughs> like, wow, you went out. <laughs> I did. I, I remember unbolting the door and walking down the street and banging on my best friend's back door. And it was all dark inside. And I was conscious of it being dark and no one coming to the door. And I was getting increasingly frustrated. Like, why aren't they answering the door? And finally, I just turned around and started walking home. It's like, guess they're not coming. And then this the night watchman woke me up. There was a night watchman. And I... I was just a seven-year-old girl in her underwear walking down the street. That's crazy. And I didn't even, I wasn't even, I was sleeping. Yeah. So he woke me up and I looked and saw what I was wearing and what I where, where I was. And I just, I don't know, I just lost it. Wow. And, <laughs> That's wild. But I was safe. That's the good news. And I'm, you know, it's just sort of this fascinating thing to me that I did that. You know, and I'm always interested by other about other kids who sleepwalk and like why they did what they did and was they processing like stuff in their house? Well, it's, well you know what? What's the reason behind that? You know, I would say that's accurate. Yeah. <laughs> but again, I was just found it interesting that I would stop at the door uh -huh. and someone would always be like, "Where are you going?" And I'd be like, "I'm going to bed," but I was at the front door. <laughs> oh, really? Like, sleepwalking's really weird. <laughs> totally. I used to come down and start banging on the piano. Um, and my brother said he would come down and sometimes he'd just hear like single notes on the piano and come down and just find me there really eerie just like his little sister just like ding ding oh my god Louise Post of Veruca Salt <laughs> is a horror movie waiting to happen right now I love it um, let's go to we have Brent in Texas who's I'm not sure what Brent's up to hello Brent uh, hello Hello, Brent. You're on with Louise Post from Veruca Salt and Kat Corbett. Hello. Oh, this is so cool. My mom listens to this channel. Um, I wanted you guys to play my, my favorite song of all time. What is your favorite song of all time? Uh, Mayonnaise by the Smashing Pumpkins. Oh, really? Do you like the condiment yeah. as well? I do. <laughs> Nice. All right. We'll see what we can do about that, Brent. Every, anything else? No, that, that's it. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for listening and tell your mom we said hi. <laughs> yeah, no problem. All right. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, my God. We're like dying. He's like, my mom listens to that. We're oh, like, man. You're like, Perfect. wait a minute. I'm 23 all the time. Yeah, except I have a 13-year-old. <laughs> I, I know, right? <laughs> Let's talk about, I want to go to play, I want to play a song from uh, Veruca Salt. I want to play Volcano Girls. And, you know, this is the one where you guys are on bungee cords. Yeah, we were. And I'm not saying... Everybody on the set was super pro, and I loved everybody who worked on that. But I will tell you that it was not the safest of sets. 
<laughs> I don't know that we were necessarily passing codes, you know, <laughs> because Nina at one point landed on my head, and I thought maybe, you know, she was coming from a very, from very high, like 30 feet in the air. You guys are bouncing, yeah. like, into the strategy. Totally. And we were all trying to avoid each other, but we were kind of knocking into each other on purpose and also because we couldn't help it right and we're just like kind of swaying in the breeze you know like there's a lot of not a lot of control anyway and so at one point you know without meaning to of course she's just sort of like plummeted into me and i i wasn't sure like how things were going to end up right there but i was fine i was fine uh but yeah the nancy barterwell directed that video as well as she and paul andreessen and she directed the shutterbug video as well and there was also some stuff in that where i was like uh, I'm not sure how safe this is, but I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I love that she's just like throwing out stuff and you're like, okay, I'll put on this harness with no other safety. Yeah. I mean, she, there, yeah, she was, she's an artist and she, you know, you trust her vision because she's that cool. I love it so much. Um, let's do Volcano Girls with the bungee jumping uh, video. Go watch it if you don't remember that. It's wild, but it actually works so well with the energy of the song. We think so, that too. That we love so much. Thank you. you know? Thank it's you. Louise Post here in my living room. If you have a question for her, 877-92-LITHIUM, just call now. She's only here for a little bit, so do it. Let's do Volcano Girls. Well, there you go. Smashing Pumpkins here on Lithium. Hello, I'm Kat Corbett. I am. Uh, I have Louise Post from Ruka Salt on my couch. I Hi. had an idea to have a party and people over, and you <laughs> you all came. It is so exciting. And we're all at the party. And we're all having a really nice time. I it's lovely here, and there's all kinds of delicious food and drink. And everybody, Louise Post from Ruka Salt. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked everybody out on the porch because it was way too loud. Anyway. <laughs> um, thanks all for listening. We're going to talk about, and we're going to play a new track, one of your new tracks. I'm so excited uh, because Louise has an album coming out on June 2nd. Uh, but we do have some questions from some Sirius XM listeners. So, uh, Mike on two. Mike, what is going on here? All I see is dog. Hey, man. How are you guys doing? What's up? Good. Hey, okay, so I got a question. I, I, I'm getting over here. So uh, I remember that dog you guys had in that theater video. Oh, uh, yeah. Dog with that. My, my buddy had a dog like just like it, so that was like a big deal for us. We just loved that, that video with that dog. Aww. That, dog Aww. that was Pearl. That was Nina's dog. Nina and I'm sure he yeah. now, but you know, point being is that we, we love that dog in that video. <laughs> Um, yes, and uh, Pearl is no longer with us, sadly, but it was so nice that she was in that video. We loved her very much. She was like our mascot. Aww. <laughs> Rest yeah. in peace, Pearl. Yeah, uh, we love and you guys. You guys are great. Uh, I, I, back then, I was in law school, and, and we loved you all. So I appreciate the music you all put out, and I look forward to listening to your new stuff. So thank you very much, and, and we appreciate what you guys have put out on Lithium and everything. And thanks, Jeff, for letting me on. Wow, thank you so much. What a nice caller. I know, Mike, but what are you doing? Are you chopping lettuce? What is happening over there? <laughs> oh, uh, well, <laughs> I work two jobs. You know, I got kids in college now. That's how old we all are, right? That, that kid that just called in? Yeah. That, that's no, my, like, my I, 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 hear all the, I hear all this crinkling, and I'm like, what is the no, what's going on back there? Are you making nachos? Oh, what's happening? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm making bakery goods. So I, I'm an attorney, and I work doing bakery goods in the evening. So, wow, what? that's amazing. That's, that's really impressive. Uh, yeah, well, you're thanks. multi-talented. Well, thanks for listening, and thanks for calling in, Mike. That's uh, that's fantastic. Yeah, you guys are on all day long, all, all night long, in my ears, in my headbuds. So. Oh, that's great. I love hearing that. Well, thanks for uh, calling in tonight, and have a great Friday night. Awesome. Y'all have a good thanks. one. Bye. Thanks, Mike. Bye. All right, let's go to Scott in San Diego on three. Question for Louise. Scott, you're on with Louise Post from Baruca Salt. Awesome. Hello. Hello, hey, Scott. can you hear me? Yeah, how hey. are you? Uh, so awesome. Thank, thank you uh, for picking up my call, but I uh, really, really appreciate uh, the music, uh, Louise, that uh, Baruca Salt put out back in the day. I was uh, in college in Chicago in the mid-'90s, so nice. a buddy had put Very me on nice. to you guys, and... Uh, just man like uh 
uh, both uh, Volcano, Go- Volcano Girls and Seether, man. Just they had their own sound. And uh, it was in my constant rotation uh, for wow. for many years, including up till now. So I just uh, really wow. appreciate it. Looking forward to the mu- new music. But I-, I wanted to ask you, like, um, any influences they had uh, coming up with that sound? It just seemed so different at the time than uh, a lot of the other stuff out there. <laughs> You know, we were influenced by so many different bands, and one of the beauty of working with other people is everybody brings their influences to the table, you know, from, like, the Beatles to Zeppelin to uh, to Nirvana to the Pixies to My Bloody Valentine. I mean, we were um, to Black's, Black's um, what am I thinking? Um, Sabbath? Uh, no, well, yeah, Sabbath, my God. I mean, that, and actually that, like, one... Uh, that one drum moment in Volcano Girls, that dun, dun, that was all our drummer, Jim. It was just, a, it was straight out of rat, you know? <laughs> so That's so cool. Yeah. So he loves pop metal and like, there's so much stuff that we just derive from different, different bands. And like Nina and I grew up listening to uh, lots of, a lot of bands with harmonies, like Fleetwood Mac. And I loved Heart growing up and I always wanted to sing and the Beatles were huge and for us and like, and Bowie and Hendrix and um, all those classic rock bands. And I always wanted to sing in harmony. And that's always what I did. So we kind of found each other and we just started singing. And that that was it. I love that. Scott, thanks for... That's Thank so you. cool. Yeah, thanks, thanks for the tunes and uh, really appreciate it. Uh, keep, keep on rocking. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thanks for calling in, Scott. When did you know you could harmonize? Um, did you have a moment? Yeah, my mom taught me to harmonize, and we used to sing at uh, like family parties. She played acoustic guitar, and she taught me to sing the harmony for the song Yellow Bird, and I knew it, I guess, right then and there. I don't know that song. Um, it? It's Yellow Bird, up high in banana tree. Yellow Bird, you sit all alone like me. It's a really lovely oh song. God, it's like a siren song, like a really, like... <laughs> sad the way he seemed a little bit <laughs> it's actually a happy song Is it? <laughs> yeah i just brought the sad to I'm it <laughs> effing love you louise Post. <laughs> this is so good you know what? Louise is releasing a solo album. This is officially your first solo album, right? Yes. I, I kept Farouk Assault going as a band without the original members for two and a half records. Um, and so in a way, I've done this before, but I was still trying really hard to stay true to the Farouk Assault sound. It was like it was very important to me to like stay true to that sound and I was still writing like that yeah. so it made sense you were but I've gone off and not, you know I've I've experimented more on this record it's a different kind of record different kind of sound um, I definitely you know uh, I definitely throw some out for the fans like I, I'm not 100% like changed it's not that much of a radical shift but there is a lot of there's I played around with new um, I just explored new what can I say? Instrumentation, arrangements, mm-hmm. just my approach to music. It's not, uh, it's just somewhat uh, developed, you know? No, I, I, I heard it and I like, I didn't feel like you were, would there would be a fan of Veruca Sol and be like, oh my God, this is her jazz record. Like, right, no. You know, like, <laughs> that's not, you know, there was so many, um, you know, like starts off rocking, but you know, then there's like, the, you know, some, you know, like intimate songs yeah. which I loved and then there's some rage and I was like great yeah. <laughs> so it has everything so let's do a single let's do the first single that you're releasing yeah sounds um, good that's called Guilty Guilty anything to say about Guilty well we're all guilty of something right I'm guilty probably more than most I probably should say that <laughs> I don't know I don't know Louise Post from Baruch Salt is here for a little bit 877-92 Lithium Call in if you have a question for her. She's only here for a little bit longer, but let's get to Guilty from her new solo album, Sleepwalking. Sleepwalker? Sleepwalker. <laughs> I'll get it right once. <laughs> You'll get it. June 2nd You'll is the release. Louise Post on Lithium. Guilty! It is Guilty from Louise Post. Solo, her new album is out on June 2nd. You know what I love about that single is like I've listened to it a bunch and I hear something new every time. Really? You have like these little like layers in there. Yeah, for sure. It's textured. Yeah. It's a lot going on. Yeah. I like that a lot. I think the uh, my other favorite is is it Killer? Yeah, Killer. I don't know, there's something in there that I respond to very <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, wanting to yell at people all the time. It, it's a rocker, and it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely full of rage. Can't wait for everybody to hear it. I know. Are you excited for tour? I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm touring with this new fantastic band. We just had an excellent rehearsal and just shot a video for Guilty this past weekend, which I can't wait to release. Um, and, yeah, it's a really exciting time. I love this record, and I'm so excited it's coming out. And I get to go connect with old, with old fans and new this summer and see people in the flesh. It's been right. a long time, know. you know, yeah. and there's nothing like live music right now. No. It's like it's a whole different thing. It's yeah. sort of like I forgot how it makes me feel when I go see a band I really love. I'm just like, oh, my God, this is the best feeling ever. Yeah, that sharing of, of with everybody, you know, and being in the same room and all yeah. focused on the one thing is like, I don't know, there's something truly incredible. Okay. Yeah, agreed. Um, let's go to line four, Jen in Chicago. Hello. Jen, you're on Hi. the Blues Post. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Jen. Hi. How are you? I'm a huge Good. fan. I actually Aww. interviewed Louise for my college newspaper <laughs> probably like 12 years ago. <laughs> I love that <laughs> so much. I am still in media in Chicago, so fangirl since the very beginning when I was in like eighth grade, and I told everyone that my child's name would be Louise. I'm almost 40 <laughs> and I have children, so now I want to open a You don't need them. <laughs> That's my name for my future endeavor. I tell everyone. Oh my god! Oh my god! I love that. That's incredible. <laughs> I'm very I'm flattered. Right now, we 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 had lithium on, and my wife is like, "Um, Louise is on right now. We're calling it." <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I Louise. love that so much. <laughs> Hi. How's the weather over there in Chicago? Um, I actually What's it like? do have a question, though. I'm in local media in Chicago, and we focus on the neighborhoods. And I was wondering if there's something you miss about the city. Oh, my God. I miss uh, uh, I miss Ann Sather's. Um, I miss yeah. um, my favorite, I forget the name of it, but I used to live in Andersonville, and I miss there's, like, a Swedish diner up there that's so good, and they have these lingonberry pancakes, you know. <laughs> yeah. um, I miss the lake. I miss running on on in the off, on the lake. So I used to, that was my what I did for exercise there, and I would just like really run hard on the lake and get it all out, you know. Um, and nice and like, flat, unlike LA. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean totally. Um, I love Chicago. <laughs> I love it so much, and I I mean there's so many things I miss about it. Um, I miss Leona's. I keep saying restaurants. I don't know why. Uh, but I miss spring. I, I, I miss I, I, the I spring you. in Chicago. I miss the fall. Like living in LA, the seasons are different here, and we don't have as much. We also don't have the winter. But you know, I miss the snow too. Um, it's different. It's real different. Um, I had a wonderful, wonderful like t- time there, and it's always home to me. Aw, I love that. We can't wait to see you this summer. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't wait to see you guys. Jen just will know you're screaming Louise when you're in the audience. Exactly. Or my my right. AIM instant messenger screen name was Lightner also. Oh, you're kidding me. Uh, oh, that's incredible. <laughs> I love that so much. Yeah. Thank you, ladies, for calling in. This was super special. I'm so thrilled you could do it. <laughs> Thank you, Kat. Thank you, Louise. Kat and Louise. Y'all rule. Bye. Thanks, guys. You too. Oh my God! I want to get one more call in, um, and it's a call from St. Paul with a question for Louise before we have to uh, make way for Tom Morello's One Man Revolution here on Lithium. Um, I'm Kat Corbett. Let's go to line one. You're on with Louise Post from Baruch Salt. Hello. Hi. Is he there? Or did he die? Yo. Hey. <laughs> Hi. It's Fender. It's your buddy Fender. You are beautiful. Um, I love you. I love Baruch Assault. I love what you're doing. Do not, Kat, do not play mayonnaise by Smashing Pumpkins. It's gross. Mayonnaise is gross. <laughs> That was someone else, man. Don't get down on us. That was a request. And I do love that song. Come on. <laughs> but, man, he's just gross. It's, 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 it's Listen, Fender. Like... Fender, you're going to waste your precious moments with Louise Post by talking about mayonnaise? <laughs> I guess so. Oh, bro. Uh, you just lost me. Thanks Aww. so much for calling, though. Bye-bye. 
All right. You know what? I think we're going to wrap this up. I want to thank you for coming over and sitting on my couch. Oh, my You're God. You're the best. I love living no, in L.A. You. because these opportunities wouldn't happen in a lot of other cities. I you know. know. It's and it true. it makes me feel real. As much as I miss my, like, East Coast and stuff, yeah. I would not have access to so many talented people. It's, and I do love that. I totally agree. You can just, I could just call up a buddy. Like, Kelly Mayo is here from Skating Polly yep. at the party. And she and I collaborate. She's my fairy goddaughter. And I love her so much and her pink hair. And like, um, you know, I just get to call Kelly and be like, hey, come on over. Let's do something. Yeah. And and whatever. Like so many of my peers, musicians, uh, so many talented people here doing really amazing work. And it's inspiring. It yeah. really is its own. As disparate as this whole community is, because we all drive and we live in different parts of the city, we all come together and make incredible art here. Yeah. And so there is a there is a scene in L.A. that I feel it's palpable. And I, I thrive off of it. And true, I just want to tell you, uh, anyone listening out there looking for new music, check out the band Skating Polly, who, I have to say, your thumbprint is on that band because yep. they are channeling the 90s in their own 2023 filter, totally. in their own way. I'm not saying they're, you know, but the, you can tell their influences when they are playing. You well, know? they grew up listening to so many different different genres of music yeah. but they're they they really got an education on everything rock yeah and they you know they are good friends with vaccine they hang out with yeah. the with those guys and nina and i actually uh collaborated with with kelly and peyton on a couple songs and we did it with an ep with them called new trick um and co-wrote and, oh, and produced right. the Look album together up. with bradwood yeah but in the meantime put your pre-order okay. in for louise post's new solo album I can't believe it's all this time. It, yes, I can't believe it's all this time it took you to do a solo <laughs> album. It's so weird. I know. My, my solo Veruca Salt stuff wasn't the same as this. This is just me. Yeah, I know. Louise Post. All right. Sleepwalker, June 2nd. And let's leave with let's leave with the hit. Okay? Yeah. Hey, the let's hit. do it. Are you ready? Do you want I'm, to introduce it? Um, okay, everybody. Uh, this is Louise Post. And the next song is called Seether by Veruca Salt. Woo! Um, serious. Excellent. Ow! 